Nikia, you might know a little bit about uh, this next guest. Just a bit. Yeah. Well, as well as being lovely and beautiful, she's also an author and a doctor. Yes, uh, she has a new book out and she's here. This feels so weird. She's here to tell us about it. <laughs> it's your wife, Dr. Emily. <laughs> yes. Welcome. DM. Hello. Oh. Welcome to the studio. Oh, you thank look you so for gorgeous. Me. You do look absolutely beautiful. Thank you are you gorgeous, but in real life, wow. Absolutely beautiful. And we did all get the green we all memo got the accidentally memo. today. <laughs> We're like a family. Go, go sit next to your wife. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll oh, go oh, ask. Should I sit go next, sit next you to her? Go sit next to me. Can I ask a question Off first? Oh, yeah. Here, no, like, yeah. As sort of a presenter side. Yeah. So tell us about your husband. Um, <laughs> I heard he's a really nice guy. I oh, know. Okay, come on. Let me come and sit come next to Come and sit by oh, me. Yes. Oh, you yes. too. Oh, it's so but good to really, see you together. Really, I want you to do the talking. I do a lot of talking, so talk oh. about you. you look well, of course, way. Emily, we're going to talk about your new book, which is already number one on Amazon, I must say. She's doing so, so well, this book. Thank it's you. a massive hit already. First of all, to both of you, congratulations. Pregnant with baby number three. You look absolutely incredible. You are glowing and you've Thank got the most you. perfect bumps. So how has the pregnancy been so far? Absolutely. Yeah, great. It's just coming around quickly now, isn't it? Oh, that's Very the thing quick. that we keep going, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Aww. And you're both from big families, aren't you? So do we think this might be our last baby or do you think there'll be lots more to come? I'm saying yes. <laughs> that's what I, I did said. suggest that I could make it very definite after this, but you said not to, so that scares me a bit. But then again, we can talk about that. You're going to really put me on the spot I with was, I was, that. I was, I was, Thank I was. you. <laughs> I've started something here. I said to Pete, I said, there's absolutely no way Emily will be done because you're both from big families. So watch this oh, space. Oh, I love that. I think we are done. I think we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emily, tell us about this new book then, because for me, what strikes me is it, it's bringing together both your worlds, isn't it? It's your experience yeah. of, of the NHS and working in the mental health sector and also this platform that you have and raising awareness of such mm. an important issue. Thank you. And it's, it's something, I guess I feel really privileged with that because, you know, obviously in my work as a doctor in the NHS, I have, you know, obviously a group of people that I can support and, and kind of look after. But it's so amazing to be able to have that bigger platform, like you said, to be able to reach more people. And I feel so lucky to be able to do that. And that's exactly why mm. I've written my books, including, including the last book. And, you know, I think working in the mental health sector as well, I just see so much mm. how there's still such a need and still a need I think to break down the stigma around mental health and I just think starting that with kids and helping them feel able to kind of talk about their emotions and sort of mental health in general it can only be a good thing. So. You went I remember when you released the book and within that day it went number one on Amazon bestseller mm. and I was so proud and I remember telling you and she takes things in her stride so she just doesn't <laughs> she doesn't run around and pop champagne bottles she's like Oh, that's lovely. Right. I'm going to just put the kids to bed. You know, she's like that. And I'm so <laughs> proud of you because obviously it's such an important I was subject. excited inside. Yeah, I couldn't course. believe I know, it. I know, I know. But what I mean is you're not one of these people that does it for that accolade. You yeah. do it because you want to help people. And I think yeah. that's fantastic. Do you know what strikes me both with both of you is how down to earth you both are and how humble you both are. And in terms of your own parenting and your lovely children who are here today, how does how does that help? Does that example help them, do you think, you being just so down to earth? I think so. I think we just try and be kind of open with them, don't we? And like mm. try and have that, yeah, just that open kind of dialogue in the family and trying to, you know, I guess they would probably say I'm, I'm quite strict. We were actually having this debate in the car on the way up here. Who's oh, the strictest okay. one, me, me or you? But I think it's that balance between, and, you know, I learned this a lot from Pete as well, that you, you've got to be strict and have those boundaries, but they have to know that there's the, the love mm. there. And I, that's what we try and do, isn't it? And you, you never get it 100% right as a parent. Mm. You, you just can't. We always say we that, that um, you know, being a parent is first and foremost. That's mm. a given. But also being their friend means that they can open up to you and they can talk to you. Now, Junior, my eldest, he kind of is a bit disappointed in my parenting now because <gasps> I was so strict with him, so strict. And then with the other two, I'm not... That's the youngest two, I'm not that strict. It's and as the way each though, one isn't got it? as as each child came along, I became less and less strict. So uh but you you're you are strict but in a very, very, mm. very good way with 
iPhones, I, uh, sorry, iPads, things like that. iPhones, I don't think they're ever going to get, according to you. <laughs> one day, one day. Well, I wanted to ask you, because in the book you talk a lot about body image. Yeah. And that is a real issue in terms of children's mental health, isn't mm -hmm. it? And, you know, you have a very young daughter, Millie, who is just 10 years old, and of course, Princess as well. Uh, and she's just actually released a clothing range this week, hasn't she, Pete? So with the two of them, how do you help with that pressure about body image, especially with, with famous parents like yourselves and the pressure of social media as well? Yeah, the social media thing is a really tricky thing, isn't it, that I think parents now are just having to learn to deal with because I've got absolutely no experience myself. It just wasn't a around when I was a teenager. So that's something we're kind of learning every day how to kind of cope with. But the body image side of things, I just try and be really positive with, with all the kids about their their strengths that are in all areas and try not I always try not to focus too much on their on their appearance. You know, obviously we say, Oh, you look lovely today, or that's mm. a, you know, oh your hair looks beautiful, but I always try and say to them, you know, oh, you're really kind or, oh, gosh, yeah, that's such a good piece true. of homework you've done or I'm really proud of you. I, I saw how hard you tried at that today. So I, I really try hard to praise them for things other than physical appearance so that they, I guess, value all aspects of, of themselves mm. and not, not just their appearance. Because there, there's a big pressure, I think, isn't there, on boys and girls to yeah. look a certain way, um, yeah. whether that's their body size or shape or their their facial features, you know, anything, isn't it? And mm. I always try and make sure that they know that there's more important things about them You've than the way that they look. You've 100 percent made me a much better parent. Oh, I've learned so much. No, I have. I've learned so much from her because because she's she's got a way that's amazing. There's things that were instilled in us as kids and strict things that I've tried to implement on the kids. But some things that I used to believe in, I'm like, I don't oh. agree with that now. Let kids be kids. And, you know, things have changed. But you've helped me with that. So... Thank you. You two are the most wonderful. <laughs> it's so lovely to see you together. You are such a wonderful team. Look, there are going to be people watching and listening today who say, oh, mental health didn't exist like this when I was growing up. Kids didn't have mental oh, health did. issues when I was growing up. What's, what's happening now? It's all made up. What would you say to those people? I mean, I think it's partly an awareness, isn't it? It's partly that we know we're more talking about it. Now. Exactly. We're talking about it more. We, we recognise, you know, what the potential symptoms might be. And I think people... Even though I think we're not quite there yet, I think people are more able to perhaps talk about it than they than they used to be. Um, you know, so I, I, which to me is a good thing. Um, so yeah, I think that that's that's partly it, and that's again why I wanted to start with children, getting them. You know, there's a, mm. the whole sort of first section of the book is getting kids to recognise what their emotions are to them, how they feel to them, where they might feel it in their body, and encouraging them to talk to other people about it. So. It really is the most beautiful book. And if you do have children at home, it is full of gorgeous illustrations yeah. and diagrams and things like that. It's really child-friendly. It's beautiful for families. I did want to ask you, because you were being asked this on, on social media, why have you decided to go with your maiden name on the, on the front of this book, Dr. Emily McDonough? So I get asked this all the mm. time. And it's, it, it's quite a simple reason. It's because when I graduated from medical school and I became a doctor, I, I, we weren't married. So yeah. I became... Dr. McDonough, and then you have to register with the General Medical Council, and I'm registered in my in my maiden name. We obviously then got married, and lots of female doctors do this. Just don't ever they don't never Thankfully use their, their married are, name for work. Passports are my last name, so that when so we my travel, legal name no, is is yeah, yeah. We have the same family name, but at work I just have never changed it. I think it's lovely that it. you can be both. And yeah. congratulations yeah. on the most incredible book and Thank being you. number one on Amazon. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful. And if you do have children at home, it's called Healthy Mind, Happy You: How to Take Care of Your Mental Health. Emily, wonderful to meet you so finally. So nice to meet you as well, Emily. You so Thank beautiful you. together, and have a lovely Valentine's Day on Wednesday. I've reminded yes. Pete. Are you have oh good no i knew obviously you're gonna do um your lovely dining for two people of course aren't I'm, you of course i yeah. am i'm just we'll talk just, about that um,